Exactly. Like, I think it would probably be pretty hard for me to just do like such long streams sometimes, like constantly faking my voice. You're gonna ban that Sencha person? Oh my gosh, wait, is Sencha back? What are they saying now? Oh my gosh. I don't know how we will be able to find them. Let me just like go to their user. They're committed, huh? Like they keep just getting timed out, but they just they just don't want to stop. Oh, oh wow. So guys, they literally told me, they go, you look like a piece of shit. And I bet your ratchet daddy sued the condom company because it made you be here. And I bet your dad kill himself because when he saw you, he threw up and grabbed a gun and shot himself. Whoa. So didn't have to look at you. And I bet your mommy only has you for gold support so she can buy more crack, take her mind off you. I hope you get burned alive. The KKK and you're filled with tumor. You're delusional. Oh, I'm the delusional one here. Okay. Wow, guys, that, that's quite the interesting message. Okay. I don't know who this person, like, I don't know what's with this Sentra person, guys, but, oh my gosh. That's a little extreme. I mean, I hope that person finds happiness, guys. Like, to you. Sencha for sending me that. Like, I'm really sorry you feel so strongly about me. Um, my dad's still alive. Um, I can tell you that, like, you know, um, like, he didn't kill himself after having me or, or anything like that. Um, that's kind of an extreme message there. Um, you know, I hope that you find things in life that make you happy and, like, positive things to focus on. Um, Hey, it's like, yeah, that's true. They didn't mention Buzz. Uh, I mean, at least they didn't mention Buzz there. At least they, they didn't mention Buzz. <laughs> but wow, I don't know. See, I could just never really think to like go into someone's stream and like type them that kind of message. So I just hope for that person's sake, like hopefully they find um better and like nicer things to do and you know, Find people and things that do make them happy. <laughs> Eugenia, how can I get on gold support? Oh, James, you could ask my mom. Apparently my mom is on gold support, so you'll have to ask her, you know, so she can go buy more crack, so she won't have to focus on the terribleness of having a daughter like me. People wonder why she isn't doing slash planning meetups. People can honestly be very scary sometimes, guys. Uh, like that's not even the scariest thing. Like, I mean, that's not even really scary. That's just kind of like someone probably like not being very nice, but people can be very scary. You thought this was a child-friendly stream? Well, guys, I'm not like advertising myself as like, hey guys, welcome to like the, the child station here. You know, it's kind of like, I can't really control the things that people type, but I'm just kind of reading it. Like, I'm not saying, like, thanks for the bits, Devon. <laughs> yeah, honestly, guys, they could be a, they could be a little kid. Sometimes I feel like little kids themselves will be the ones that will kind of go troll and just, like, maybe have, like, like, I hope even, like, if, they're, if it is a kid that they find better things to do. Yeah, guys, and I, yeah, just like James said, I thought nobody was a hater, guys. I thought that no one was a hater. Everyone cares about me, right? That's why everybody writes, not everybody, but that's why like a good amount of people write me these kind of lovely messages that I see every day. I thought no one was a hater. Aren't these people just get telling me this stuff because they care about me? That's what I thought, guys. I'm sure that these people that go telling me that like his dad, my dad killed himself because they had me and that my mom like has to go smoke crack because of how awful it is to have a daughter like like me. I'm sure these people really care about me, guys. I'm sure. They're just like, yeah. You know, I just call everyone a hater, but no one's a hater. They're not hating. Are we gonna have to watch you die on stream because you're so self-censored? 
I'm not dying, guys, so no, not really. But if I was so self-centered, like what would that have to do with me dying on stream? And how am I being self-centered right now? I'm literally just writing a I'm reading a message that someone sent. <laughs> Why did you read that out loud? It was deleted. I'm still allowed to read it, Queen Vegeta. I'm just reading people what it said. It's not really the end of the world. If you don't like my streams, you don't have to be in them. Just saying. No haters here. Yeah, Robotoxin, no one's a hater. I love you, but the sarcasm is just coming across of aggressive huge. I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to come across as aggressive, it's just like sometimes it's just kind of annoying where like I constantly am seeing people getting mad at me saying like, oh Eugenia just calls everyone a hater when like I see messages like that on like a pretty regular basis and when I talk about haters, like that's the kind of messages that I'm even like talking about but like everyone just gets mad at me and is like Oh, like, Eugenia, like, you call everyone a hater. Um, thanks I for the bit cycle the theory. Side, huh? well, I'm glad you're liking it. I'm sorry to anyone if I'm coming off, like, the wrong way. I'm sure people say my true colors are showing now. That comment, thanks, Tony, that for the bits. You are the victim of not paying people is still funny to me. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, there's some interesting comments. We love a sarcastic Eugenia. Well, I'm glad some of you guys like that like it then. Why don't you find a new career that would best support your mental health? Because cause I like what I do and everything. You know, I feel like I'm I'm really lucky to like get to do like what I do. Um like if I wasn't doing this, I don't know what I would be doing. So it's kinda like even like with the hate and all that, you know, it's like a lot of people online get hate. I'm not the only one that gets it. And I feel like I can deal with it. And I still feel like I have a lot to be grateful for. So I'm not just gonna leave over like haters. Was happy to see you tweet that kid back and stand up for yourself. I actually la laughed out loud. Thank you. There's been people getting like mad at me for that. And I'm just kind of like, thank you Hyrule Beery for the bits. Thank you. Anybody would react this way is a normal reaction to receiving daily verbal abuse. Thank you. It's just like sometimes I feel like I'm just like receiving so much of that and I'm just receiving like so many people constantly telling me like what a horrible person I am and how I should be like banned off the internet and how like I I don't know. I just feel like some people just basically want me to like not even like exist in the world. So it's just kind of like sometimes like I'm really sorry if I come off aggressive because like I really don't mean to guys but sometimes when you're seeing like so much of that stuff it's just kind of I guess like frustrating sometimes in some ways. People get so intimidated when you get sarcastic or defend yourself. I didn't know standing up for yourself was being aggressive. That was honestly nice compared to how most people would ask thanks Wishing Star because like, even as I'm saying this, it's like, I never want to come across as, like, rude or anything. But yeah, it's like, exactly, right, Rayona Lily? It's like, there's only really so much, I guess, you can take sometimes, guys. And it's like, like, one day ended up with me just, like, crying on stream, which I'm really, you know, not trying to do. And I'm not trying to, like, do that every stream. And it's like, sometimes I just feel like when there's just, like, so much, like, constant negativity, like, thrown at you on, like, a daily basis, it's just kind of like... You know, like it could just be really like frustrating sometimes, and then yeah, so like that's the thing. Like, I try to not like lose it, but I mean, <laughs> thank you, Lita, for the bit. So 